women have been exposed again. So I remember a while back, I had a whole video talking about how when it comes to a man's size, how a lot of women are not being completely honest about their preferences, right? And I told the men, look, a lot of these women, they're exaggerating, they are embellishing, they are lying. You know, it, it's just not as serious as a lot of them try to make it out to be, you know? And then not too long ago, I had a follow-up video that pretty much showcase the same thing. And oftentimes I get a lot of pushback, like, oh, you're just saying that to make the men feel better. Here you are again, pandering to the men. Y'all know what they love to say about me. And it couldn't be even further from the truth. I'm just honest, okay? I just tell the truth. And if the truth means pandering, then by golly, I guess I'm the biggest panderer you know. But to have a doctor, a female doctor at that, that specializes in that arena to pretty much co-sign what I have been saying for years, it just makes me say, you know what, Danica, you go, girl. You know exactly what you're talking about, okay? And so... I thought that I would come on here today and let her explain it for herself, okay? Now, the title of this video says, Do Women Really Care About Size? The Truth. And again, she is a doctor um, that specializes in these things. And so she would have a lot of insider information, if you will, uh, as far as this is concerned, okay? But before we get into it, you all, y'all go ahead and like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I will go ahead and let you all know what her exact channel is right now on the screen. And y'all feel free to check her out as well because we may have more videos that we react to in regards to her, okay? But y'all get the likes up and y'all share the video and subscribe. And let's break this down, shall we? We shall. All right. So let's get into it. You can't go far without hearing about BDE or how lucky someone is because their partner is well endowed. But is that what women really want? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. And today we're going to talk about women's penile size preferences. Now, as many of you know, who've been following me for quite some time, the most reliable route for women to achieve orgasm is through the clitoris, not through vaginal stimulation. In fact, 85% of women need clitoral stimulation in order to achieve climax, which begs the question then, why would penile size matter anyways? So let's start with anatomy. The average penile length is about 5.1 to 5.3 inches, erect or stretched. Now, researchers use stretch length to assess penile length and is a surrogate for erect length. And so that's typically how they're getting this number. Now, the range can be anywhere from 3.5 to 6.5 inches on average, but there will obviously be outliers in both directions. So let's pause because this is a lot to unpack, okay? No pun intended, okay? I'm not trying to unpack the pain. But listen, listen, listen. Um, she's saying that, look, when it comes to the studies, a lot of women have actually revealed the fact that when it comes to reaching their peaks, you know, um, that's going to call for them to do a little tickling. All right. So if it calls for a woman to do a little tickling in order to reach her height in her ceiling, you know, how is it that the size of the banana boat matters? You know what I mean? And me as a woman, not to give TMI, but I'm y'all's little big sis. And so I'm going to give y'all the inside scoop as it pertains to women. But even women such as myself, like, 
Yeah, it's the tickling and the pickling. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is for educational purposes only, by the way, YouTube. Okay. Um, but for a lot of us women out there, it is the tickling and the pickling that gets us going. So, I mean, to say that you need this gigantic banana bowl in order to reach your peach, reach your peach. I didn't try to say that. Reach your peak. You know, I mean, it's just a reach. Did I just rhyme? I did. I did. Bars. Big bars. Didn't even try. But nonetheless, like that in and of itself should showcase the fact that when it comes to a lot of women and their talks of, oh, no, I need this size in order to get me going. And I need this girth in order to keep me doing it. I need. Come on now. You don't need all of that to get to where you're going. OK. OK. So let's not do too much. Now, I'm not going to say that a woman is okay with a microscopic. I'm not going to go that far, you know. Um, but if you do have a microscopic, there is somebody out there for you. As a matter of fact, and I've shared this story before, it was this lady that I worked with, a young woman at that, to where she said, look, I actually prefer, you know, very, very small banana boats because, you know, my body cannot take all of that, you know? So... There's always somebody for somebody is what I'm trying to convey. But <laughs> nonetheless, the truth remains the same. Ladies are lying when they're talking about, oh, yeah, I need a 12 incher. I need a 10 incher. I need a 13. -inch. You don't. She doesn't. And she just gave the breakdown of why that is. But let's continue. And y'all like the video. Share the video and subscribe. Now, what about vaginal size? The vaginal length is about 3 to 3.5 inches in length in the non-aroused state. And it's about 1 to 1.5 inches in width. Now, when aroused, the vagina actually lengthens and widens to nearly double its size. So that can be anywhere from 5 inches to 6 inches on average. So what that tells me is that generally people are made to fit each other, right? They're about average. The average penis is going to go in the average vagina and it's going to feel very pleasurable. So is a larger penis, meaning larger than average, actually more pleasurable? Well, in some cases it could be. If a female derives a lot of pleasure from G erogenous zone stimulation or G-spot stimulation, which I've talked about previously on my channel, or from cervical stimulation, then she may prefer a larger or more girthy penis in those cases. How and again, I'm going to be honest, like, again, do I want something that is like a pencil? No, you know, I, I, I think the huge lesson in all of this is it's not just that. It's not just the banana bowl. There's a, a whole bunch of different factors that go into it, you know? So I'm not going to be disingenuous and say, yeah, we want a needle peen. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's been a lot of, like I said, exaggeration, a lot of fronting and stunting when it comes to women and their talks about the size you know what i mean now again a lot of us we like the tickle and the pickle so it's not just this thing of you know i need you to have this in order for me to reach my climax like it's a combination of different things you know and i'm sure i'm going to speak for a lot of women when i say this um this is not gonna do much you know because like she said it's something about the the entryway and and, and you being able to hit how can i say this without just sounding really nasty y'all bear with me and like the video because help me out okay i'm very uncomfortable but i'm i'm trying to help y'all out okay we are a relationship based platform and part of relationships are okay so like the video and help me. Um, I'm not going to say that girth does not matter because I, women, we like to feel 
you know, you being able to fill up walls. So, I mean, I'm not going to go that far and say, oh, you know, yeah, your girth and all that doesn't matter. Like, it, it, it kind of does because I'm not going to be able to really feel all of this. You know, it's a combination. You know, I want to feel the walls being filled up. I want to feel um, the, the tickling sensation. I want to feel... <sighs> all of that but nonetheless okay with these women uh drastic drastically increasing these numbers that they need in order to reach those climaxes that is where i want to really drop my points home with okay um but yeah a print a, a pencil is not going to do it okay it's not but i'm going to let her continue um but i have to stop her with the whole girl situation because yes um i feel like women in general would like to be filled up, if you will. But let's continue. However, as I mentioned before, the large majority of women are going to climax from clitoral stimulation, which doesn't require a penetrating penis. Let's take the anatomy out of it. And let's find out what do women say when asked. So in 2002, they did a study asking women about does size matter? And in fact, the large majority didn't really find it to be very important. 80% thought it wasn't important, whereas just over 20% did say length and girth were important. Also, generally speaking, when you ask women with partners, 85% of them are generally satisfied with their partner size. So the, again, the large majority of women are satisfied. You can see again and again, we're seeing this sort of 80% number pop up because again, 80% of women fall into the category where they probably don't need a penetrating penis to orgasm and they will find pleasure from other means, from other types of stimulation. Now, let me also say this. Okay, and again, y'all get the likes up. This is very mature of a conversation. So, you know, somebody could benefit from, you know, talking about this. But let me say this. Um, I know that she keeps talking about, you know, we don't need the pain and we don't need the pain. We can just tickle the the thing, okay, and 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 be okay. I'm going to say this, and I'm pretty sure, once again, I'm going to be speaking for a lot of women when I say this. There is nothing better than having the pickle and the tickle climax. All right? So I get what she's what she's saying. I get what, what message she's trying to convey. Like, fellas, look, clearly you're okay if you're average Clearly, you know, your woman is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, satisfied um, whether you're meeting a length or width requirement or not. And I feel her. However, I have to be honest enough to say, as a woman myself that loves the pickle, that, um, yeah, although we can reach that peak with only tickling, it's that pickling that's going to do the, the job as well. Okay. So yeah. And yeah, you, you don't need a huge gigantic banana boat in order to do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I mean, she's still right is what I'm trying to say, but nonetheless, I do feel like it is important for me to also emphasize that it's the combination of different things being implemented that can really blow a woman's mind, okay? So tickling, yeah, that's cool, but let's not sleep on that pickling as well, okay? Okay, let's continue. Okay, you could argue surveys are not the best marker for true uh, feelings or true preferences because people can lie because they want to please the researcher. They want to make themselves look better. And if they say that size matters, they may be looked upon as less favorably. But what about when people go to buy sex toys, right? If they're buying phallic 
sex aids, then you would imagine that a lot of them would be buying very large sex aids that would commiserate with the size that we think women want. But when you look at studies of people of what, number one, what sex toy vendors sell and what sex toys women buy, the large majority of sex toys are in the average range between four to six inches. And when women buy sex toys, they on average buy ones that are just slightly larger than average about six inches really now ladies are we being exposed now she makes a valid point she says look you know people can let's say try to be too politically correct when they are talking about certain sensitive subject matter and you know a man's anatomy being one of those things they don't want to come off as being shallow no pun intended okay um so they may say oh i don't care if it's not able to reach deep enough i don't care if it's not as wide and all that like no i'm fine as long as i love the man and all that and even that is true though but nonetheless like she makes a valid point when she's saying you know Women can lie, maybe, to make themselves look better, you know, when being asked certain questions. But she took it a step further to say, okay, well, how do you explain women buying toys for themselves that, you know, are on the average or maybe just a little bit slightly above average spectrum? As a matter of fact, a lot of women would swear up and down that a size four is small. Yet, y'all are going out of your ways to spend your hard-earned money. Hard-earned money. Okay. Again, no pun intended. On small peens? Let's make that make sense. And she already also broke down the female anatomy. You know? We're not that deep. You know? She said three inches. And then when we're aroused, so maybe six inches. So, uh, come on, ladies. Y'all are pretty much telling on yourselves when y'all out here talking about, I need this King Kong. Y'all know what? So, that was very eye opening for me, you know, mind blowing for me. Now, me personally, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other women are out there just like me. We're probably very small of a number, but it's a lot of women out there such as myself to where we don't really want to get involved with toys and stuff like that. Like, I don't ever want to um, become desensitized in that way. You know, I love uh, the human on human interaction between me and my husband. I like that you know, we are able to just get each other going just based upon, you know, our physical touch alone. I don't want to start introducing foreign objects into the mix, but to each his own, you know? Um, and like I'm saying, to me, that really does highlight how much size really is not a factor like that. You know, the mere fact alone that the women out there who do partake in certain festivities and activities with toys in the bedroom, they're going out of their ways to purchase average at best ones. Yeah, y'all are exposed. You really are. <laughs> but let's continue. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And let me know, y'all, are you learning something new with this? Cause that was something new to me. I, I didn't know that when women were actually out here um, buying toys for pleasure, that they were hitting on the small peen marks, you know, or a little bit above average. Like a, a lot of y'all would say even a six is, you know, not much of anything, but that's the biggest toys that y'all are getting on average. That's speaking volumes. Okay. And let me also say this before I continue. It was this viral post that was all over social media not too long ago, maybe about a year or two ago. And I also brought this up before in previous dope discussions where we talked about this subject matter. But again, to me, this made it a lot more valid because it is coming from a doctor. But nonetheless, there was 
this viral post all over social media so where a lot of women were swearing up and down that hey i prefer a nice seven you know i like a nice seven you know maybe an eight but nothing greater than that you know nothing too much from that so if the seven is the sweet spot the seven or the eight mark is the sweet spot for a lot of women that means that that is the the largest <laughs> you know that a lot of women can tolerate or take or enjoy so if that's the largest you gotta know that you know that six inch that five inch that four inch you know that's gonna be okay as well if the largest that is the sweet spot is a seven or eight and i really want to emphasize how a lot of women were saying the seven okay so it wasn't even going above that so yeah you know let's not let's not get beside ourselves but that was very telling that was something new that i i learned y'all let me know what you have learned that was new so far now could this uh, obsession with size be because we are really bad at estimating size right could we just be really bad at looking at a phallus and deciding what is the length of the phallus and in fact a study recently published looked at that they they basically showed both male and female participants different size penises and they had them guess how long and how wide they were and interestingly women tended to overestimate the length of the penis when it was six or six and a half inches in size. So they would estimate that it was almost 0.7 to 1.2 inches longer than it actually is. Okay. So taking that into consideration, that is making me feel like now with that viral post that I'm talking about, so where all the women were like, yeah, a nice seven, a nice seven, a nice seven. Could it be that it was probably really a five because a lot of y'all are overestimating what the actual size was so i don't know but let's continue <laughs> and in men they also tend to overestimate penises when they were 5.5 6 or 6.5 inches and that range of overestimation was significantly higher they estimated that those penises were half an inch to almost two inches, 1.85 inches longer than what they actually were, which then tells us that essentially we're just really bad at estimating length. And because of that, we're probably looking at average size penises and thinking they're larger than they actually are. So bottom line, no one really knows what they want. Let's stop focusing on genital proportions that are really out, largely out of our control. And let's focus on how we can improve pleasure in our relationships. We need to start talking to each other, telling each other what we enjoy, what we like, what turns us on, and not being so serious about sex. Sex should be fun. Sex should be playful. And we should stop shaming people for the size of their genitals, for the size of their breasts, for the size of anything. Because because at the end of the day, if you're a healthy human being and doing the best you can to stay healthy, that's all you can do. Well, I agree. <laughs> I agree with everything that she said at the end. You know, at the end of the day, it's about um, us having enjoyment in our partners and each other and having that love and that connection because y'all also don't understand how many women i've heard say you know maybe he didn't have the the biggest pipe but because i felt such a deep love for him or i felt such a deep connection with him you know the the sex was spectacular so you know that is ultimately what matters and what we need to focus on the most um and from what we can gather it is because a lot of y'all y'all don't need much in order to get pleasure like y'all were out here saying that you did but you know in the grand scheme of everything what matters is the love um the chemistry the respect um the healthiness and everything of that sort as it pertains to you and your partner and y'all's relationship
Okay, but y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I told y'all so once again that a lot of these women are out here lying, and I'm not even gonna say that it's intentional, right? Cause because from what I could see, a lot of women were just you know not sure, you know, they were guesstimating and they were just off with a lot of their numbers and stuff like that. So I'm not even gonna say that they are intentionally lying, but nonetheless, the proof is the proof, okay. The truth is the truth. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let me know what you agree with, what you disagree with. And I look forward to seeing what I got to say in the comments down below. But nonetheless, I also did think that this would be a very interesting and fun, dope discussion for us to hop into. And I may have more videos like this on the way. Okay. But I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to all of my crown heads.